Hi, today I'm going to show you how to pluck a poodle's ear. Now some dogs, or most dogs, don't need their ears plucked. Um, plucking the ears can cause infections as it opens up the pores in the ears. So you have to be selective of which dog and how you pluck. And if the hair is in there really, really tight, I recommend not plucking, just combing it out and, and clipping it. Now, um, the reason I pluck my poodle's ears is because the hair is curly in there and it grows back into the ear canal. Like other dogs, like Shih Tzu's, Maltese, any other dog with hair in their ears that, that got straight hair, you can just comb out the, the hair and just, uh, you know, trim the bottom. It's better just to leave it alone than, than make it worse. But with poodles, Bichons, like curly coated dogs, um, it's best to get the hair out of there because the hair grows back in the ear canal and uh, wax builds up, they can get infection from that way. So just use your own judgment on ear plucking. Um, some people don't do it, some groomers don't do it. So it's really up to you. But I, I pluck my own dog's ears. This is my own my own dog. Now if your dog has an ear infection, the ears red or bleeding or anything like that, I suggest you don't pluck the ears. Um, you know, because otherwise it'll hurt the dog and make it worse. So I recommend you get some hemostats and some ear powder. Now the ear powder is more or less just for grip. You can get any ear powder that's made, meant for dogs uh, ears from anywhere they sell dog supplies. And the same with the hemostat. Now I'm just going to pull out uh, gently. If the dog cries I'm not going to you know do it. Sometimes they might wince a little bit. Some dogs are more sensitive than others. So basically I'm just doing a very very light pull. Never pull so hard and never Never grab a bunch of hair. That'll hurt. Just do the, the loose hairs that are inside the opening. Now sometimes there's a lot of wax. I can see dirt coming out here. To get the dirt out, out like that. So I'm just doing small, small pulls. And then just use your thumb to get that off. And go back in there again. Yeah, she got a lot of hair. Now, if you do it often, they won't get as much hair, obviously, because if you wait longer, it grows more. So I haven't really plucked her ears in a while. So she's due. Now, just be careful of these little um. You know the nodules in the ear you don't want to uh, grab them accidentally and you know squeeze them it will hurt and the dog will jump and it'll bleed maybe so that's why I do a little bit at a time because you never know you know what you'll find inside an ear right maybe there's a monster in there just kidding <laughs> thought it'd be funny okay and if it's your own dog you're doing instead of a client's dog, you can do a little bit, you know, one day and another day or a little bit in the morning, a little in the afternoon if it really bothers the dog. Or if you're even grooming them, if they're not your dogs, you can do a little bit, you know, as they're there throughout the day, a little bit at a time. There. Now your ear can breathe a little bit more. Now there's always hair deep inside the canal, so you have to go a little bit further in there. You see the stuff that's coming out? Oh, sorry, not even in the picture. There we go, I'm sorry. Anyway, you see the stuff that's coming out of here? You have to kind of just put your hemostats like closed. Close your hemostats. Come here, girl. Now she's trying to push me out of the way. So close them and open them up slightly when you're inside the the ear there. So I think that's about it. Oh, that's all I'll do anyways. And 
and then you can clean the ear if it's dirty. Just give it um, a wiping. There. So there's the plucked ear. She has a little bit of dirt right here. It's not too bad. Some dirt came out. You can see it below her ear there. And now she can hear. So that's how you pluck an ear. Thanks for watching.